Hey guys, what's up? So in the previous video we saw that to get the information stored in your instance variable we used two methods. First was write a method and in that method we returned the instance variable. That was the first way of getting the information stored in your instance variable and the second way was using this method instance variable get and then you pass the name of your argument. Uh, pass the name of the instance variable as your argument. Okay, so this way of accessing your instance variable is not very preferred or recommended way in Ruby. So unless you know what you really are doing, uh, this is the method that is not recommended to use, like instance variable get. So in Ruby, there is actually a very recommended and very preferred way of accessing your instance variables. Okay, so if your purpose is just to get the information is stored in your instance variable, you should use accessor methods to do to do that okay that is highly recommended way of ruby and you can say like the ruby way of accessing your instance variables so instance variable get we use that so that we could get the information stored in your instance variable so we are going to use an accessor method to do the same thing okay so first what we will do is that we will just delete this line okay so we are going to use an accessor method which is attribute reader and what it will do is that it you can pass many arguments to this attribute reader method and what it will do is that behind the scene it will define the methods for the instance variables with the same name okay let's see that we define here attribute reader not define we are just calling this attribute reader method and we pass it one argument name okay so what it will do behind the scene it will create a method def name and what that method will do it will return this Okay, so the argument that you have passed to attribute reader, it will create a method with the same name and it will look for an instance variable with the same name. Okay, at the rate is kind of, okay, in Ruby instance variable names are, uh, they start with at the rate, that is why it added at the rate. So writing this is equivalent to writing this. Okay, S and the beauty of using attribute reader is that you can pass more than one argument is so the moment you pass it two arguments it will actually create two hidden methods for you okay so here writing this is equivalent to write defining these two methods okay so it's a very convention oriented behavior so you write attribute reader and you pass it arguments and what it will do it will define the methods with the same name and those methods will return instance variables with the same names okay and so we are going to see that in action first we delete these methods and then we created an instance of, of our person class and now we are going to print the name and the age of that instance so here we can see that we didn't define any method of name name or any method of name is but since we have defined our attribute reader here with those arguments name and is so behind the scene those methods have already been created and they will return the instance variables with the same name so we will see this in action ruby person dot rb so you can see that okay so this is a very neat and clean way you just um, 
choose attribute reader you pass it arguments and it will create the accessor reader accessor methods for you you can read the information is stored in your instance variables with the same name okay one little check here now we will do we are just going to pass an argument for which there is no instance variable okay so we have passed an inst uh, argument address and if you look at the class definition we cannot see any instance variables of at the rate address name okay so let's see what happens now and we are going to access that so behind the scene what should happen what should be our guess attribute reader what it will do it will create a method in the address name def address and it that method will return at the rate address instance variable okay and you know the you know ruby if you try to access any instance variable which hasn't been initi initialized which hasn't been popified an attribute reader of the name address and there is no instance variable at the rate address then accessing that using that method address will return us nil there is no exception there is no error there are no complaints okay so I'm going to run this file again and yes you do not get anything you actually you get nil value in return so it's a very safe way of using attribute reader you can pass it anything and if you get instance variable of the same name it will return that if you do not get anything if you, there is no instance variable of that name it will return you nil so it's like uh, no issue approach no harm done okay so this is the prefer preferred way of getting the information stored in your instance variable now in the next two videos we will look at in the next two videos we will look at how you change the information stored in your instance variable using the same approach okay thank you very much for uh, watching this video bye bye